this parable was the prodigal son. And I would like to read to you the passage in Luke chapter 15 from verse 11 to 23. And he said, a certain man had two sons. So here is a family. Three members of the family. One father and two sons. And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that is coming to me. The younger son made a request to his father and said, I have a portion in your wealth. Give me now that portion that I should have. And the father said, and he divided his living to them. So he divided his property. And not many days after war, the younger son gathered all together and went away into a far country. And there he wasted his property, living desolately. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine and in that land, and he began to be in one. He spent all his share to nonsense. Everything that he has are gone. And then there was a famine. Everybody is in need of good living, and he is now in need of these things. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country. And he sent him into his field to feed pigs. And he works for this family now. Who is that world? Gone. Everything gone. Now he is working for this family as a slave. And he feeds pigs. And he was longing to fill his belly with the hawks that the pigs ate and no one gave to him. Right now he is hungry. And now he wanted to eat the leftover of this pig. And when he came to himself, he said, Now many hard servants of my father abound in loaves, and I perish with hunger. He came to remember his family at home. My father is so wealthy, and he has many slaves. Now I am a slave. I was slave before. Eat well. They have bread. No, I don't. And I will arise and go to my father in verse 18. And will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. And I am no more worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. Right now, he began to realize that he need his father again. And is thinking something. He wants to go back and ask forgiveness and beg him to become one of his servants. And in verse 20, and he arose and came to his father. But when he was still a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. What an amazing forgiveness he received at this time. That while he was still on his way back home, his father saw him. And instead of him waited by his father, his father ran toward him on his way and embraced him and kissed him. And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you, and I am no more worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servant, Bring the best robe and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand, and shoes on his feet. Not a word or anything to him when this son begged for forgiveness and acceptance. Instead, the father ordered his servant to give him the best robe he has. And bring the father call 
hear and kill it, and let us eat and be merry. Isn't it a good story that our Lord Jesus Christ, he himself, related to his disciples? The message of acceptance. Yes, now that we are accepted in his body, what shall we feel? You are in the heavenly kingdom. We are accepted by God by the time we know our Lord Jesus Christ, believe in him, and accepted him as our Lord and Savior.